the storm that we'll all remember is Hurricane Sandy. People ran out of gas. There was no gas for generators. Uh, people were standing in line four or five hours, six hours at a gas station. Um, when the gas stations ran out of gas, they had no power. Um, they couldn't get uh, supplies in. But what we have never experienced in New Jersey is those kind of record tides. The tides were so incredible that they eclipsed previous records, in some cases by 40 percent. Really, um, all in all, I think the storm was just unbelievable. Like, just the magnitude of devastation was unbelievable. Well, we first started seeing the potential of a big storm coming on the weekend of the 20th and the 21st. And then we saw the European model started showing a pretty large storm coming up the eastern seaboard and impacting the northeast U.S. By the 25th, we started gaining much more confidence on the track of Hurricane Sandy and that it would actually come up the eastern seaboard and impact the northeast U.S. Uh, there were much less models actually taking it out to sea. So this is when we started outlining to our clients what the potential impacts could be. Uh, that being major coastal flooding, uh, wind gusts over 50 miles per hour, also heavy rains and um, uh, potential inland flooding. The Friday before the storm, um, we began um, sending out some storm alerts uh, to our New Jersey-based clients. And it was really on, uh, as we got into that Friday, that we wanted to make sure everybody knew you know, how, how pretty dangerous this storm was going to be and that we had enough time to prepare through the weekend. Friday, we began sending out these alerts. Um, one of the first things that we said um, and that Friday alert is that this is a potentially dangerous situation setting up for early next week with this storm. Uh, pretty happy with the forecasts. Um, we sent about three updates during the day, took a lot of phone calls. Um, the coastal flooding, um, we mentioned the, the high tides and that the first one was likely to be major flooding and then the second one, depending on the track, was historic. I think the little bit of questions that we were having is exactly where the landfall was going to take place. Um, in addition to high winds, storm surge, heavy rainfall that you usually see with such tropical systems, it actually brought a lot of snow to the mountains and the Appalachians all the way up from Virginia, uh, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, and especially hard hit was West Virginia. Um, it's actually amazing that about 36 inches of snow fell in some parts of West Virginia, which is over three feet. That, uh, in terms of tropical cyclones making landfall, that is very rare to see any snow at all, let alone snow measuring in the feet. The one thing I'll never really forget about Sandy, outside of the destruction and how many bad things happened, was some of the uh, odd requests that we got and odd questions. And they were coming from all over. A lot of our clients were asking questions that weren't not necessarily even meteorologically related. Uh, more than a couple people, for instance, asked us at what speed windows start to break um, just by themselves without other objects getting thrown into them. And as degree meteorologists, we really didn't know. So we reached out to some people in the engineering and architecture realms that better answered our questions so that we could help our clients. Other things and other requests, because this wasn't just a uh, you know, New Jersey thing. This was regional, national, and even international. We got all kinds of requests from all over, uh, including the BBC and uh, ABC, as in the Australian Broadcast Corporation out of L uh, Australia asking us uh, for interviews as uh, seasoned experts of weather in New Jersey as to what the impacts of the storm would be. The, the one thing that I remember the most about Sandy and that I think was m more remarkable than any other storm that I've ever witnessed or experienced uh, was what happened at the ocean. Uh, what happened here uh, along the Jersey Shore. We knew this would be a great storm but we never expected it to to just blow out these tides like we've never seen before. And that, of course, resulted in the incredible devastation along the Jersey Shore.